Well, my message as we approach this first anniversary is an enormous thank you. A thank you for the way that we have responded as a team in order to support Ukraine. Whether that's the additional ammunition that's being provided, whether it's the hundreds of armoured fighting vehicles, whether it's now the Challenger tanks, whether it's the AS-90 artillery, whether it's some of the non-lethal aid, it's been a massive effort. That includes DNS, it includes getting the kit into theatre, it includes our Air Force bringing Ukrainian soldiers so they can be trained by the British Army and by our international partners. It includes an intelligence effort which has been extraordinary and so I think that we should be pleased with what we've achieved so far. We should be confident that Ukraine is winning and Russia is losing and we should steel ourselves to continue to support Ukraine all the way through. And if I, if I reflect on how big that support is, it's, it's our military, it's our civil servants, it's our contractors. I think our support has been strong all the way through. And I would go back to 2014 and, and, and Operation Orbital. Again, British Army training 22,000 Ukrainian soldiers, strong effort with the Royal Navy and the maritime links there. Then we had a really strong effort with our intelligence partners, especially America, to say what was happening, that Russia planned to invade. We tried to tell the story, tell the whole world. Then we had the, 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 the shock of the invasion. Even though it was anticipated, it was still a shock in terms of that violence and what Russia has done. And then an incredible response, not only from the UK, but from the whole Western world economically, diplomatically, and the military support, which has been really strong. And I'm proud with the way that we've responded. Um, it's a substantial effort as part of a big international effort, uh, and we will support Ukraine and continue to support Ukraine.